Alphabet could be making its big artificial intelligence play as it announces a strategic partnership between its cloud business and open source AI platform Hugging Face. The partnership gives the developers on Hugging Face's platform access to Google's AI infrastructure and cloud resources, while Google becomes a preferred destination for thousands of developers. Joining us now with more on the deal is Jeff Boudier, who is the Hugging Face Head of Product. Jeff, great to finally speak with you. We've heard so much. Thanks for having me. Uh, absolutely. We've heard so much about your tenure, your time at Hugging Face. And ultimately, I think a lot of viewers are wondering right now, is this analogous to what we had seen Microsoft and OpenAI do now between Google and Hugging Face? No, I would say it's quite uh, different. And it's really an opportunity uh, to make it really easy for Google Cloud customers to build their own AI with open models. Today, we host over a million models, data sets, applications for text, audio, video, time series, biology, you name it. And all of these models will be very easy to access from Google Cloud will be very easy to use with the latest hardware available on Google Cloud. And Jeff, putting that in perspective for our viewers who maybe aren't exactly familiar with your platform and the relationship that you have with some of these other large companies, obviously backed by household names when it comes to NVIDIA, when it comes to Google, so furthering uh, that partnership there, where are we when we talk about this AI race? And in terms of the value of hugging face, is this? do you view this as kind of the real focus here for companies in the second year of adoption? Yes, uh, our mission is to democratize good machine learning. And we do this through open science, open source, and by making it easy for companies to build their own AI. And I think through this last uh, fundraise and all of our great investors, uh, the ecosystem around AI validated our vision that companies need to be able to build their own AI in-house, that they can host, they can control themselves. And so I think it's the first time that we had you know, Google along with Amazon, and we had NVIDIA along with AMD and Intel, and we had Salesforce along with IBM all coming together around this, va this vision and embracing open source AI. Jeff, when you think about the end user of some of the products that are and the applications that are going to come out uh, as uh, a part of this partnership that's moved forward and, and as the kind of delta from, you know, this announcement between Google and, and Hugging Face, how is this going to become tangible to somebody at the end of the day where they can feel the difference of generative AI? Oh, it's been super fun to work uh, with all the different teams uh, within Google, uh, from Vertex AI to their Kubernetes uh, team. Uh, you can expect a lot of experiences coming from this partnership. Um, you can expect hugging face models, again, to process text, to generate images, to uh, transcribe audio, to be all easily available uh, within Google Cloud through Vertex AI and then their model garden through their compute and infrastructure products. You can also expect uh, that it's going to be very easy on Hugging Face, where we have millions of data scientists and developers coming every month to build their own AI to apply those models uh, within Google Cloud directly from Hugging Face. You know, one of the interesting comments that we heard from the CEO of um, Salesforce, Mark Benioff, during our conversation with him at Davos at, at the World Economic Forum was talking about how AI should be a human right. He also did address some of the concerns. What concerns still linger from your perspective around generative AI that the industry still needs to solve for? Yes, the open source community uh, uh, has been tackling all of the main issues uh, that have been identified uh, by the uh, AI research uh, community and working through those issues uh, openly, transparently through open source. And I think that's a huge part uh, of the solution. And what we want at Hugging Face is also to make those open models and open source AI easily accessible to companies so that they can control their own AI destiny, so that they can host themselves uh, the models uh, and they can uh, protect uh, their data as well. 
And just lastly, Jeff, we got to ask you, I mean, in our conversations with Clem in the past, we've asked what a pipeline or, or, or a pathway rather to an IPO looks like. We know that the latest funding round was at about $235 million, $4.5 billion valuation. You know, when you think of Hugging Face and, and the growth from this point forward, are we still talking a, a $4.5 billion valuation even after this partnership? And, and what's kind of the next inflection point for growing out that valuation? Well, I think uh, what's important for us is really to uh, double down on our vision and uh, make open models and open source AI as accessible uh, as possible. Uh, this Google uh, partnership is going to be uh, a great uh, step towards that. We still have a lot to do. We did a lot of progress last year. But I think this year is going to be very interesting because so many companies have experimented with generative AI uh, over the last year. And I think today is the year when they're going to want to really build things seriously, uh, as they do with other kind of technology, meaning in-house. And that means for a large part with open models and open source AI. Jeff Boudier, who is the Hugging Face head of product. Jeff, you guys have one of the best logos in the business, in my opinion. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Can you see it? See. Yeah, I can, I can see it right over your shoulder. I mean, who doesn't okay, want to hug at the end of the day? All right, Jeff, appreciate the time. Thank you, Brad.